Gateway Canyons Resort is located almost directly on top of the Utah-Colorado border. With Utah's famous Slick Rock and Sandy Riverbeds on one side, and Colorado's incredibly rugged mountains on the other, this was the perfect location for Yamaha to showcase the Wolverine R-Max 1000's ability to conquer any terrain you can throw at it. I got the email from my friends at Yamaha. It, the invitation came out to go to this wild adventure out in uh, Utah and Colorado. Unfortunately, AJ and Luke were already on assignment, so it was, it was up to me to come through. The idea of this adventure was to ride this in some terrain that was really ideal for testing the limits of the R-Max 1000. So, you know, we were gonna cover uh, rocky terrain, high elevations, uh, there was gonna be some out outstanding scenery. With the location that we chose here today, we're out in Colorado, kind of right outside of Grand Junction, bordering even in Utah, where it was part of our trip as well. The great thing about this area, the first day, it's all high desert, so you get a lot, a lot of washes and everything we can go through, even some good elevation stuff, great landscapes and, and great canyons you can see through. So the route for the ride was going to be, uh, we were gonna cover over 200 miles over two days. The one day we were going to cover the Utah side, which is basically the back side of Moab. And then day two, we were going to cover the Colorado side, which was completely different, a little higher elevations, more greenery. The terrain that we were uh, riding on ranged from logging roads to really tight, rocky trails, um, which was great for, for testing comfort levels of the R-Max. You have the, the on-dash button where you can turn it from uh, sport riding to trail riding, to crawling. And it was great because we got to test all of those different functions. Well, one of the key things we started doing a few years ago, the marketing team came up with an idea of the three C's, comfort, capability, and confidence. And we actually thought of a way to apply those three C's to our development process too. Coming to Gateway Canyon here in Colorado and Utah, right on the border, it was really important that we were able to show the media in attendance and the consumers that are gonna ride in the next couple of days, capability, comfort, and confidence. Confidence to us is really the durability in the machine. Confident that you're gonna get back to the truck, back to camp, back to the resort. Comfort, of course, comfortable suspension, comfortable tires, smooth and quiet engine, low vibration, really enhancing that comfortable, less fatigue, because we were riding for eight hours, 100 mile loops. It was really important to make sure everyone's comfortable. Of course, capability-wise, there's a huge variety of terrain here. It's one of the key reasons we came here was to show the drastic difference in terrain that they have here. One of the things I was most surprised about was how well each of those functions worked. The sport setting, for instance, was, was great along the logging roads. I got the, I got the vehicle up to 73 miles an hour, and it really punches when you give, give it the throttle. When we were climbing on the, on the tighter trails that weren't as rocky, I had it in the trail setting, which was, which was nice. It gives a softer delivery to the, uh, to the throttle, which is great, so you're not getting any whip. And then when we got into the really rocky stuff, which there was plenty of, we put it in crawl mode and uh, it was even softer than the trail mode. So it really gives you the perfect amount of power to climb up those rocks. Probably the biggest thing with the Wolverine R-Max 1000 is the 1000. You know, we've had the Wolverine 850 in the past, exceptionally smooth, exceptionally quiet and it had a very good a torquey feel to it. But we really, for areas like this, it's really gonna shine through where people really need that horsepower. At these higher elevations, we're obviously starved for oxygen, so it's important to have as much horsepower as possible, but make it smooth and manageable. So we've got that great torque feel from the engine, but we also accentuate it with a D mode system, our drive mode system. We've got sport, trail, and crawl, which really, again, matches what you're looking for in the different types of terrain that you're coming up to, but you still get 100% of that 1,000cc power in all those situations. It's just delivered in a much different way in all three modes. So I think that was something important. It was just such a scenic, it was super hot. So we just kept kept moving to keep cooled down a little bit. But when we got to the top of this uh, first vista, our first stop, uh, we were told it's a, it was a, actually an area where dinosaurs uh, once roamed. And sure enough, we got off and there was fossilized dinosaur footprints in the rocks, which were really amazing. Admittedly, by the end of the day, I was feeling a little peckish, a little tired. And when we came around the last corner and I saw the uh, Gateway Canyon Resort at the bottom of the hill and very excited, I knew we were gonna get some food and some rest. The adventure itself, quite honestly, I haven't been on a media ride where we've covered that much territory in one day. 
and I, it kind of flew by. I, it was just really enjoyable. After a great day of riding on day one, I uh, got a good rest, but today was gonna be completely different. We were going to be hitting the Colorado side, which was really lush and green. Uh, we were gonna be reaching elevations up to 11,000 feet. Um, it was gonna be a little cooler, a little more comfortable up that high, and I was excited about that. Uh, we were still going to cover over 100 miles. The next day we went on a really high elevation, up to almost 11,000 feet, but it's all aspens and pine trees. You get a lot more rockier, tighter trails and everything too. So it just shows the overall diversity of the R-Max 1000. So th this adventure was a little different than other ones that we've been on because oftentimes on these media rides, you're doing little loops. But with this adventure, we were actually riding trails that we didn't know where we were going. Uh, we were following a leader and we knew it was gonna be a long journey up. So we saw the mountains on the right-hand side hit that trail. And from there, we were riding along mountainsides, kind of a crazy, gnarly, treacherous ride. Really exciting. I have to admit, my heart was pounding at times because it, it you know, one bad move and it could have been, it could have been uh, dangerous. One of the key things right off the bat is the CVT system. The Yamaha Ultramatic system really is important. Again, on a hundred mile loop like we're doing for the last two days, two days in a row, and it really is more convenient for people to not have to put their vehicle in low range. You know, if they come up to a steep, rocky climb, they can leave it in high range if they want to. Of course, they might prefer the feeling in low range, but unlike other CVT systems, leave it in high range. You're not gonna, since we have constant belt tension, you're not gonna have a high belt temperature, you're not gonna damage your belt in that situation. Uh, from a durability standpoint, again, our chassis, the tires, all the specs of tires we have are eight-ply rated radials, whether it's from Maxxis or GBC, and that's really important. There's a lot of sharp rocks here, a lot of trail obstacles. It's important to have a really rugged, durable tire because we're really far away from camp, and that's important. People want to feel like they're going to get back. We've got class-leading suspension travel on both vehicles, especially the R-Max 2. We've got 14.2 inches in front, 16.9 in the back. We really need all that travel to give everybody the comfort they're looking for, but of course, keep the tires in contact with the ground and create the great traction that you're looking for. And on the R-Max 4, 14.2 in the front, 13.9 uh, in the back. We did a great job, or we're very proud to work with Fox. QS3 setup on the XTR models and the base models, very easy to switch back and forth between soft, medium, and hard, or position one, two, and three. But then on the LE models, which is really convenient here, we've got the IQS system from Fox, which is push button in the cab, uh, firm, medium, and uh, comfort setting. So again, it's very easy and convenient for people to actuate that right in there from the seat. You know, for me and, the, and our crew, we see a lot of amazing places in, in our adventures. And, and I really took this opportunity on the Colorado side after, after you know, almost riding 200 miles at this point to really take in every turn, every uh, vista, every uh, mountain peak, and just appreciate where we were and to, and to realize that, you know, without being able to ride side-by-sides or ATVs, we wouldn't be able to see this stuff. This is really, uh, a, a great opportunity for, for people to get out there and see things that you would not be able to normally see. I, I am very fortunate that I was able to attend this, this trip and see the things that I saw. If after watching this story you're thinking to yourself, man, I'd really love to try out an RMAX on rugged trails like these, you're in luck. Yamaha's Destination Yamaha program gives you the opportunity to take an R-Max out for a ride from a number of participating locations on real-world ATV trails, many just as challenging as the ones you've seen today. The great thing about Destination Yamaha is that it's a multifaceted tool, if you will. Customers can go out, they can experience, even if they have an X2 or an R-Max 1000, they can go to some epic landscapes and epic riding locations they may have never been able to reach before or trail their vehicle out with before. So they can go to those Destination Yamaha locations, they can rent a vehicle exactly like theirs and have that same experience with their friends and their family. On the flip side, if they're interested in buying a vehicle but they want to give a real world test ride with it and they can't get to one of our demo locations, then Destination Yamaha is another perfect location they can go to. They can experience another great ride in the vehicles. And of course, best of all, they can experience a proven off-road prowess that our vehicles have. The, the Wolverine took us to this location without fail, took everybody there. We didn't have a breakdown, we didn't have an issue. You know, we were out there in the middle of nowhere and the greatest thing about being a, an ATV and side-by-side -side enthusiast is that you can see things that other people can't see.